Hello YouTube, D. Badri here. Uh, it was two months ago, I guess, that um, I saw this ad on BatteryHookup.com for genuine Model 3 21700 cells, 4800 milliamp hours. At the time, it didn't say this, 90% <laughs> and up. Uh, they got added later because plenty of people have contacted them about cells not testing to 4800 milliamp hours. All they had was what it says down a little bit further right here where it says every cell is fully tested in at least 90% capacity or better. Um, yeah, so 90% is 4350 milliamp hours from a cell that is rated for 4800 milliamp hour cells. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to say that these are probably not real live genuine Model 3 2170 cells. Um, they are something else. Uh, <laughs> yeah, or, or they're rejects or something like that. Anyway, um, yeah, it says up at the top, don't get ripped off, get hooked up. If they weren't so darn cheap, because, you know, per, per cell is $2.50, and I bought 900 of them, and so I got them for $2.35 a cell, including shipping. So the price was super good, but I would say that the uh, failure rates, and I'll talk about them in a second, are pretty significant. Uh, a year ago, I bought 800 of this exact same cell, uh, and every single one of them, except for a few exceptions, all tested at 4,700 milliamp hours or better. And these ones, there's a lot of exceptions. So let me show you that, and then I'll uh, show you examples of cells. So <clears throat> this is the batch I haven't tested yet, so there's about 700 left in there. This is the batch I have tested, and so that's like probably 150 or so cells. And over here is the uh, rejects. So these are all testing at significantly under 4,700 milliamp hours. Uh, whereas this over here, all test to 4,700 milliamp hours or better. Um, in this box, there might be one or two that are like 4,600 or 4,650 or something, but the, mo the great majority of them are like 44, 4,500 milliamp hour cells. Uh, and, and many of them have tested quite a few times to determine that. So let's show you some examples of good and bad. And uh, oh, before I do that, I guess, uh, so here is my setup. So it's a Lee, uh, Lee to call Lee 6, Lee 500S. This is three Lee to call Lee 600s and two XR VP4 pluses. Every single cell goes through at least one of these. Um, if it tests good the first time around, you know, 47 or milliamp hours or better, it goes in here. Um, but uh, a large majority do not, and they need to be tested at least twice. Uh, you know, the first time it kind of wakes up the cell, and then they might test good after that. But yeah, I, I've got <laughs> got five chargers here, all testing cells, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, um, over the last two months, and I have only gone through that many cells. Uh, that other batch, that other 800 of those same cells that I bought a year ago, I would have been probably 60, 70 percent done by now. Um, you know, with all 800 of the cells, not just 150 of them because they all test it, you know, you know, at 4,700 milliamp hours or better. So anyway, a couple examples. Uh, what we've got here is a few cells. So these ones all pass, you know, in my book. So this one here tested the first time through 4513, and then the second time 4808 milliamp hours. Woohoo! One that actually tests pretty close to specs, you know, like it says on the cell right there. 4,800 milliamp hours. <laughs> so anyway, this one tested to 4,591 and then 4,762 milliamp hours on the second test. This one here got tested four times. Uh, three times in a row, it tested at 4,451, 4,467, 4,468. So pretty consistent capacity results. And then it's like, oh, hey, uh, let me add another 300 milliamp hours to that. And uh, then it finally tested to 4,718. So I went, all right, you can pass. So this one got tested twice. First time way low, 37.76, and then 48.64 milliamp hours. Uh, this one t tested good first time through, 47.08 milliamp hours. So those are passes, and that's essentially what most everything in that box is. You know, some that pass the first time through, you know, 4,700 milliamp hours or better, and then lots of them that get tested more than once uh, before they finally pass. All right, so um, this one here is the only cell that has actually failed. Uh, First test through, it tested to 4685 milliamp hours. So um, I tested again, and no charger will recognize this as a cell. It's like that little positive tab off the jelly roll has disconnected. So it's a completely 
non-functioning cell, never overheated uh, in any way. It just simply is not recognized as a cell. Um, so something internal, electrically speaking, has happened and disconnected this one. That's the only so-called true proper failure that I've gotten. Every other cell, they charge so far, but they just don't test the capacity. Like this one's been tested three times. So 4433, 4444, 4418. Um, you know, 4520, 4567. This one's been tested three times, 4582, 4664, 4504. This is typical. This is the kind of failures that I'm talking about. This is the stuff that I say is unacceptable for a 4800 milliamp hour cell. This one, 4485, 4490, 4472. Really consistent test results on all of those cells, you know, with the exception of that bad one. Um, and they're all testing down there in the 44, 4500 milliamp hour ranges. So, yeah, for a cell that is supposed to be a 4800 milliamp hour cell, I'm going to call bullshit on that right there. 90% and up? No. No, 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 no. The only thing <laughs> that is acceptable here is something close to that number right there, 4800 milliamp hours. Yeah, putting this on here just goes to show that you're blowing smoke. Uh, what you should really say here uh, somewhere is, is that um, these are... <laughs> Defective cells, uh, tested low, uh, bad batch, things like that. What it does say here, here are genuine Model 3 cells salvaged from very low mileage or never cycled assembly defect modules. Well, I can tell you for a fact, you know, look at the bottom of that cell. Look at what's in the picture. This, these cells have never been welded in any way, shape, or form. They are literally brand new cells. Um, but it says here... Uh, Never cycled assembly defect modules, usually caused by a bolt pattern, bus bar, BMS defect. Um, I would say no. <laughs> Definitely not the case because these cells have zero evidence of welding on them of any kind. They have never been in anything. They are not recovered cells. They are brand new cells. That is abundantly obvious. Do you see any weld spots on there? How about these? Any weld spots? No. It's because they're brand new cells. They have never seen a nanosecond worth of anything done to them, just made into cells, that's it. And yet, you know, they're saying that, oh, well, these are, you know, pulled out of something. No, they're not. <laughs> what they are is they're seconds. They're seconds, definitely they're seconds. So if you buy these cells, folks, be expecting to test all of them because God knows what you're going to get. Um, some are okay. Some are definitely not okay. Uh, I, I would say buyer beware. You know, you're... you're Paying two dollars and fifty cents for a really good reason. It's because this batch of cells is uh, rejects. That's got to be it. You, you know, there was a manufacturing problem, uh, and they caught it on the production line. Maybe uh, hard to say what that's about, but they are rejects. Not you know pulled out of something because of a bad BMS or bad build assembly. No, 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 no. The cells themselves, the manufacturing, the cells is the problem, <laughs> not something else. So buyer beware. Test your cells because. God knows what you're going to get.